Kia ora and talofa. welcome to another series of WeChats. Today we're here at ZeroCon in Brisbane and I'm talking with Pat McPhee who is the Global Director of Media for Zero. So Pat was really instrumental, has been really instrumental in getting the brand of Zero out into the world and so there's really a whole lot that we can learn from what Pat has done. And what we want to share with you today is how uh, you can be implementing some of this into small business. What are some of the things that you've been doing with Zero that you think small businesses could be having a look into? Maybe in particular, you know, um, if we look at Zero, Zero's got a massive budget, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. Whereas we know that small business don't. And when we yeah. think about the um, when we are small businesses want to spend their money, marketing is generally one of the last things that people yeah. spend money on. So how do you um, take a small budget and still create something big? Often in marketing and advertising activity, when you're doing some of the more traditional forms of advertising, they're not really measurable. Mm. I think the great thing about um, the world of digital advertising is that um, it can be highly measurable and it can be really, really targeted, right? Mm. Um, one thing that I would suggest that every small business do is, is get onto you know those big global platforms like Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn or wherever you think your audience is. The great thing about those platforms is you can be really specific about the people that you want to target, right? Mm. Um, and then so if your customers are based in Papatoetoe, you can target people that live within a 14 kilometer radius of uh, Hunter's Corner, mm. for example. You can target down by you know, gender, by behaviors, by interest, spend a little bit of money, test your messaging because you want to really nail that message that's really compelling and truly ownable to your brand and to your business. Mm. Fine tune that stuff based on how you see people engage with your ads and then when you feel confident that you've got a, a winning formula, then spend a bit of money mm. and maybe broaden the reach and try to engage a bit more or a few more people and then you can make that whole experience really measurable and just step by step scale your way up. And I think one of the important things that you've said is about your target market. And I think a lot of small businesses potentially don't really know who their target market is. So for instance, you know, you look at an accounting firm, you think, well, your target market is a business owner, but it actually goes even deeper than that, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know, once you get down to specific segments inside of that market, and I think, you know, the lesson is the more prescriptive and the more precise you can be in understanding who your customer is, mm and who's making the decisions about purchasing your product or service, then the less money you can spend in, in reaching them. Absolutely cool. It's about having really good put it all right. Real, yeah. Yeah. Getting to know who your client customers are, getting to know your customers, why they've chosen you, what it is it like about you, what it is that they want from you for the future. Yeah, because no amount of money and no creative is a silver bullet, right? Yeah. You still got to understand who these people are. So the more that you can relate to them as people and the more you can structure your messaging and your advertising and that marketing activity, then the more productive and the, and the, and the better return on investment you'll start to get on that stuff. Absolutely. And so before we go today, any other last tips that you want to pass on to our small business owners out there? I think a couple of things is when it comes down to what's really unique about your business, mm. you should really understand that. Yeah. You should really have a grasp of what's truly unique and truly ownable about your business. And then the other thing is, you know, content, like what you guys are doing right now, what you've yeah. been doing with WeChat. If you can do those types of things, then uh, you know, any business can employ all the things that we've learned from a big brand and, and make it their very own. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you so much for your time today. You rock. Um, and we'll see you guys next time on WeChat. See you.